Okay, listen. Confessions is way better when you don't think everybody is lying. You just got to take it for what it is, bro. Listen. Anybody that is lying, no, it's easy to spot. That's why you just ignore it. Confession. When I was a kid, I always had bad allergies, so I needed tissues. One time, my grandma was taking a shower and left her outside the door after cooking all day. I thought they were tissues. It smelled so bad. Donations. Donations. Saw a kid get naked in the changing room in PE. Oh. My. God. Never again. Yo, be honest, was y'all ankle pisses? So look, when you walk into like the boys bathroom, because we don't have stalls, it's like, you know, open urines. And I walked in one time and seen a with his pants all the way to his ankles, cheeks out, and the just didn't have any care in the world that people was walking into the bathroom. Like, that's some crazy. Yeah, ankle bro. Crazy people. Probably most likely grew up to be either fenders or like a serial killer, bro. I feel like. Him on BT, Nick. Sorry I'm white, I can't say the rest. <laughs> I'm so very sorry for the inconvenience. Can you turn me black, Bruce? No. What the is this confession child protective services are on my now bc of you if you just streamed every day my kids wouldn't be hungry please do it for the kids bruce i'm sorry bro hey just check my analytics 60 percent of you are not subscribed what are you doing subscribe join the deo family man <laughs> bruce do you like people to be honest man like this past week no like that's just my honest answer though like i think the moon is doing something with brains like no boy like this past week these motherfuckers been tripping the moon is frying somebody's brain right like it, it has to be like a moon change like i'm looking deeper and deeper into like you know what i'm saying <laughs> bruce definitely trolling stuff right now <laughs> yo what the is this but the ones in my chat oh 100 i love bro i love i love a smart person 100 gotta be smart though the dumb ones that's just like somebody saying like then they could turn around and be like well what if i said mother i'm like that get these ricks out of my face bro that's first that's first game in fifth grade i got jumped by four light skin that's it that's the confession <laughs> Yo, I can only imagine getting jumped by French Montana, that light skin posed in the Thames, and Drake and YK Osiris. Imagine Drake, YK Osiris, the that wore the Thames and did the football pose naked, and French Montana whoop your ass. Tipu and mods. Please unban me from Chaka. I had no idea the Throbin' Robin was unbanned him being so honest on my mama. <laughs> yeah, bro, don't throw Chris Brown in there. Holy f***. Where you, <laughs> you want me to end up dead? God one time for my 8th grade pictures, my barber was out of town, so my mom took me a super cuts and I told the barber not to shave the top and this dumb shaves the top and ruins my sh**. I kid you not, I got necked every 5 seconds. <laughs> Yo, getting necked in elementary school was literally the worst thing of my life. I, it never happened to me though. When I was like 10, I stole like $100 from my friend's parents. They were rich and he got blamed and in trouble and he got grounded for like four months and nobody ever found out. <laughs> yo, can you, yo, can this monkey stop grabbing me? Confession, so in second grade I was at gym and I had one of them wet farts and when I went to sit down it felt like a puddle in my drawers. <laughs> my crush said it smelled too. A young was embarrassed i'm gonna be honest bro like like keeping it real with y'all i had one of them wake up parts one of them up and feel like you could blow a hole through your drawers i am myself you know when you wake up and them parts be so loud bro like i'm talking about surround sound loud like i could cure a deaf person from not hearing them more if they was in my room in the morning confession i was in third grade and talking to my crush and i tried to fart and make her laugh but Charted. Long story <laughs> short, I never saw her again. Like, bro, it be way. <laughs> yo, yo <laughs> why everybody saying on God? Like, y'all this shit. Yo, it's girls in here saying on God. <laughs> nah, them parts in the morning, be, them be the ones, bro. Them be, those are the best parts. I don't give a f nobody say. Why don't Uber Eats drivers act as like cashiers? You know, like if you buy something like con at a cash register they're not supposed to make any smart remarks tell me why i ordered three hot dogs at 4 a.m he said when he dropped my food off i opened the door and he was out there and 
I said, man, you must got a craving. I said, excuse me? This happened twice, bro. It happened one time when I spent $14 on a smoothie from Smoothie King. I swear to God on everything I love. To bully I don't, I wouldn't get on here a lot of y'all. And this really be happening to me. Confession dot I was at practice one time and I seen the coach's daughter. She was a year older but it didn't matter to me. During practice one time we went to the woods and I gave her the dot one of my teammates saw me and told the coach. I'm not on the team now. Wow. It be like that bro. It is what it is. How he gonna be mad at you but not her? When I was in fourth grade there was this in my class and I used oh, no. to bring him one dollar bills and he dead I give me fifties and one hundreds. Yo can we call and Yo, can we can we use can we use special needs? Can we use special needs instead of that? No, no word, bro. I've been doing really good, and y'all gonna make me change. I've been working on it, bro. You said it last stream. It's a new stream, bro. <laughs> Yo, that word just makes all of my frustration go away, bro. I don't know what it is, man. You know what the new word is for me? Neanderthal. That's what I'm gonna start using. I feel like that hurts more. Confession. So one time when I was little, I was paying outside and having too much fun. I also had to decided that instead of walking five minutes home, I in a bush. No regrets. Stayed playing for two hours with some dookie in the cheeks. I will never in the woods. One time, me and my homies found this vacant, unlocked apartment and made it a trap house in fifth GRD. These dumb kick holes in the walls and tipped over the fridge the police came i tried to run and that naya tackled tf out of me and broke my arm blm <laughs> said they found a trap house in fifth grade <laughs> one time i was going to my sneaky link house and she had a friend over i went over and saw her and i almost threw up i told the tipo to get out of her house and she sat on the front stairs the whole time I was there. Yo, come on, bro. You don't fat shame over here, alright? How do you get a Frank skin? <laughs> Yo, you gotta be an OG. I'm a Fall Guys OG, alright? One time I had this crush on this one white girl for a while and I asked her out on Insta. Her response was I don't sleep with monkeys. <laughs> that was the last time I was ever interested in a white girl. <laughs> Confession, I was at work trying to lift some at the warehouse, and my co-worker is an old nigga, so I'm sitting there trying to lift some beyond my limits and he starts laughing in my face, I wanted to break the in half. Listen here, boy. You go and answer my Instagram call, okay? Yo, first of all, can you stop? Call Yo, first of all, can y'all stop calling me? Can y'all stop acting like y'all on my close friends? I don't even... Post on a close friend story, my You listen to me. You don't stop calling me on Instagram. It's annoying. Stop. Confession, when I was in the fifth grade, I was friends with this guy named Bruce, and I told him how I was going to grow up to be a streamer and grow my mustache out for my brand. He told me that was a dumb idea and I should give up my dreams and go to uni. <laughs> Took your idea, buddy. You. So I'm gonna go to college. What college should I go to? I'm gonna try to go and walk on on football for football. In junior year, this one kid was off the Broward County Jiggers and was running in the practice field naked. Oh my god. <laughs> he was juking the cops crazy. <laughs> Worst experience with a teacher. One time this teacher said I um assaulted her. Pretty weird. I've told this story a million times. See, not this again. Yeah, I've told this story a million times. To be honest, some teachers be thinking that they your mamas and daddies. You know what I'm saying? Get your hands off of me. Like, she tried to put her hand on me to stop me. Like, what? Grown ass man. Last time we did confessions, I told y'all me and my half sister made out before we found out we had the same dad. Everything cool now, it never happened again, and they are the only other people that know. To be honest, bro, like saying your confession in here really isn't bad because I feel like nobody's parents ever find out, you know? How would your parents know you kissed your half sister unless I, I love you, them? Bruce. On some crazy shit. But that'll never happen because I'm not an op, you know what I'm saying? And it will never go on YouTube. Thoughts on Lil TJ situation? I hope he gets through it. You know what I realized lately, bro? Life is too short to be so negative. Ironic, I really haven't been negative though. Like, I've been trying my best to be positive because I've been trying to get approved for a home. And I don't want to bring no bad energy, you know what I'm saying? No crazy bad energy. But like when it's time to hate, 
gonna hate. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna forever hate. Forever gonna be fat. It's always been people in the world. But what I've been realizing is just like, man, God forbid, like, just wasn't able to have one last conversation. And like, I've been more mature with, like, and I've been so upset with the older still acting like young. Feel me? It's time to grow up, bro, or get left behind. My it's gonna happen. Bro, when are you going to visit your rage? Your rage doesn't want to meet any of his friends, bro. It's not my fault. Confession, so one time I was at my friend's house and we was all lil, so we had to take a nap. So tell me why when I'm sleeping on the floor, these got on the top bunk and started pissing on even though they got their feet, I still got trauma from T.S. Yeah. Yo, is this a trauma-like bonding session? Bruce. Whoa. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Stop it, Bruce, I'm waking me horny. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yo, don't start that, bro. Don't start that all in here. Confession, I got a girl chocolates in sixth grade for Valentine's Day, and she sold it to her friend for $5. She's gay now, oh, but we was deaf more than friends at the time. <laughs> Yo, bro, listen, I've ran into some mean gold diggers in my lifetime, bro. It's never a good feeling when they sell this. Did you give him? One time in sixth grade, someone necked me hard AF, so I tried to fight him. I went for a punch and he backed up, so I missed. <laughs> he took one step forward and knocked my glasses, and my Android battery fell out. <laughs> All the hosts started laughing. Yo, that's such a believable story, man. Because I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who the f just did that? Love you, Brucey. Yo, Happy whoever just did that in front of me, you're funny as. <laughs> Yo, I used to have that one Android that used to sell in Walmart. I had to buy the minutes for my phone. This kid told me that he not didn't clean his hands and shook his mom's hand. I feel bad for her. Yuck. Yo, bro, if you're on yourself, can you please grow the f up? When I was a tiny boy, my mom asked me to get her a beer from the fridge. When I got it, I took a sip. Before I gave it to her, she asked me why my breath smelt like that. My stupid ass told her it was the school lunch. I am now 15 and addicted. <laughs> confessions i dropped out of high school just because me and my friend was seeing who can skip school the longest don't worry i went back two years later and graduated <laughs> yo i've never heard i've never heard about like that years ago my girl best friend asked me for vids with sound the on but i never moaned so i downloaded editing software and recorded me moaning and overlaid it to make it seem real this is the first time I spoke about since then. I was too freaked out. Did you make a moan mix? <laughs> Yo, you're a loser. I broke an expensive glass cross statue on accident. Keep in mind my family is very religious and I blamed it on my little sister and she ended up getting her whooped. Someone had to take it for the team. Yo, bro, if you was one of those siblings that blamed Sip, yo, first of all, if you was one of those siblings that didn't have big brotherly instincts or a big sister instinct, I f hate you. The, the siblings that never have each other's backs, whack. Confession, back when you had your P.O. box, I spent $100 to send you an online girl used panties that she wore for five days straight but yo took too long to get them so they got sent back sorry that's why i closed it i really hope y'all aren't sending like that to that p.o box still because Which? i closed it i'm gonna open another one when i move out though so p.o box streams are returning also there was this one time i was at a party and the wings my stomach up and a bad walked in on me blowing the bathroom up i didn't get any that night hey there's nothing wrong with blowing the bathroom up to be honest with you. I feel like I respect more people that blow the bathrooms up. When I was dating my ex-girlfriend, I went to the movies with my parents and her. We sat in a completely different row behind them and proceeded to make out and she let me suck her all while my parents were none the wiser watching Morbius. Yo, God. Morbius, release that movie one more time. You're right. <laughs> Yo, be hating, bro. Be haters. I saw my father's boy once on accident and holy sh** have nothing to say other than I understand why I'm a fat f cause that m**ls are the size of Shaquille O'Neal's big toe day 4 l slatty. <laughs> Next time you come to Austin please come meet my kids so they can see the face of the man that keeps them from meeting because he doesn't want to stream. Yo Silks, you actually have a f
problem, bro. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? I don't want to meet your children. One time me and this girl was supposed to get it on and beforehand I had taken about six tabs, some shrooms and I did day empty and it all started to hit me like right as we were getting into it. I was tripping so bad that I started seeing and hearing sh- <laughs> Yo, six, six tap. You trying to die that night? Yo, you're crazy, bro. I DM'd you on both my egg pages and you egoed me. It's forever up, bitch. I had to ask you a really important question, you French. <laughs> Yo, niggas think I'm an automated helping bot? Like, <laughs> boy, if you don't get a, go get a therapist, like, I'm not finna be nobody's therapist. If I see it and I see it and I can reply to it, I'm gonna reply to it. A waiter one day gave sh service and called me after I left no tip. F that guy. That's some weird. I wish some other would call me and ask me why I ain't leaving tip. Cause my joke got maybe I didn't feel like it. Now. I walk in that AP on and everything. But I always tip though, so no matter how the service is, realistically. One time at the beach, all my friends were high as sh and one of my friends starts screaming like he was Goku going SS3 or something. <laughs> tackled the sh out of me. Mind you, I was 5 apostrophe 9 and 130 pounds at the time, and he was 6 apostrophe 3. Yo, bro, I fought a at 6'3 while I was 5'9. It's not the best experience. One deal. time, my mom kicked me out because I ate her candy and lied. I had to walk to my GMA house. Dropped my little android, and I lost the battery in the ditch. I cried. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm thinking about getting an Android, bro. Would y'all still respect me if I posted fit pics on the Android? Would you rub baby oil on Terry Crews for 200 million? <laughs> yes. I will rub baby oil on that for 100,000. My friend got catfished on Snapchat and they exposed him by eye dropping the video of him stroking his to the whole football bus before a game. Damn. I've never been catfished. People that get catfished are just stupid like it's so many red flags within a person that that's what i started saying you got to start paying attention to red flags like even with friends too like if they not hopping on like everybody got an iphone facetime instagram got facetime it's too much like to get catfish now i feel like for real confession i the bed was when i was 14 and it was at someone else's house and i got away with the sh i saw the blamed it on getting his beat and felt bad so you know what i did i told the truth and got my <laughs> he told the truth <laughs> what do i do to get my fucked? um you gotta find a girl that actually likes you put on deodorant get some good cologne have confidence or a boy if, if you're gay or a girl or boy and girl if you want both or i don't know so. confession i was in a drought so i this fat <laughs> with a fat <laughs> but her body odor almost <laughs> killed me never will i ever <laughs> woman over 175 ever again <laughs> yo there's nothing wrong with being over 170 pounds okay there's nothing wrong with that bro 175 is not fat bro yo she had to be like four eight bro if, if that's considered she has to be like a Smurf. That's all it is. Ain't that in right, ladies? In PE when we did warm-ups, my friend was holding my feet when we did our sit-ups and I dead farted directly in his <laughs> face. I don't do some like that. Confession time. When I was young, my mom came into my room and asked what that stank smell was. I panicked knowing that I had two poop socks under my bed instead of telling the truth. I forced myself to on the spot right then and there. <laughs> Poop sucks? Why are you inside? <laughs> Yo, I can only imagine. I can only imagine, right? A black mom walk into your room and say, what the f is that smell? And you just get scared as <laughs> You just thought it's of my co -workers in <laughs> this so week. crazy, bro. Because as kids, your first instinct is to just get out of trouble. So I believe that that's what I would do. <laughs> Two poop socks under the bed. So, by the way, it's a nip in the Reddit active in a Naruto hentai subreddit. <laughs> Yo, why did you just tell that business?
snitches like that, bro. Why did you do that, bro? Yo, bro, y'all are snitches. Oh my god. Confession. Back in like third grade, I would put a paper towel in the school toilet, then take a dump, then pick it up and smell it. Twin. What was wrong with me?